Hey friends, guess what we got in the mail today? But look what William has. The 2023 holiday box, super yum size, and it may have your name on it. Stay tuned. You guys, we started this YouTube thing just for fun, for something to do because William was losing his vision and we wanted a hobby to do at home. We never in a million years thought that we would get monetized, but we have, and we got our first paycheck. We want to give some of it back to you, so we are sending out this holiday Universal Yums box to one lucky viewer. Stay tuned for just a few minutes, and we'll tell you how to enter. But one quick thing about monetization, too. When we started, we thought if we ever did get monetized, we're not going to keep all of that. That's what part of this is, giving away we determined from day one that one half of that would go to charity. And because of your likes and comments and engagement with our channel, we were able to give a donation to our local food pantry. So thank you very much. We yes. just want to celebrate with you and thank you for all of your support. If you haven't seen that Trader Joe haul video, go look at that because that tells us all about it. But let's get to this box because this is exciting. We are headed to Scandinavia, and this one is near and dear to my heart because half of my roots come from these areas. So I'm super excited about that. Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, and Iceland. All right. Norway and Sweden for me. I'm from a way different part of the world. I'm Scottish, <laughs> but I do like the music group ABBA, so maybe that's my <laughs> hook to Scandinavia. We're going to dive right into this and get into some of these snacks. So the first one I'm going to pull out is some jalapeno popcorn. Okay, start with the hot one, eh? <laughs> Spiced with seasoning from central Denmark. Go ahead and run my taste buds mm. right for oh, the Oh, this already looks good. Jalapeno popcorn. Mm. Mmm, <coughs> delicious. That is very so good. good. It's got that earthy jalapeno taste, just like a real, if you were munching on jalapeno, you get that little earthiness to it. Mm. I like that. That is so good. Not too hot either. A little bit of kick, but not bad. <laughs> okay, moving right along. We're gonna do dill and grass lock. Let's see what we have to say about this. I hope the dill is nothing like a chamoy pickle. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen that one, check that out in our comments, in our um, channel. Dill and chive potato chips, Scandinavia's favorite flavor. Ooh. Oh, they're um, ripples like you like, or I ridges, like or what do you call those? Yeah, ridges, ruffles, whatever. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. I love that dill flavor. That is really strong dill flavor. It tastes like mm -hmm. a pickle chip. We've had them in, in America. In but Missouri. without the vinegar. This is really, yeah, um, mm -hmm. oh, Just this is very so dill. good. Mm. Yeah. Yum. So far, so good, too. In My a row. people are coming through. <laughs> I'm going to save that because we got to get into some sweet. Sweet. Cool Heron Scally. <laughs> Raspberry gummy skulls. Sweet, sour, and super chewy. I forgot to get a scissors today, honey. <laughs> she can't pronounce any of these words, but trust me, she really is Scandinavian in her roots. <laughs> there you go. They, they are skulls, but it almost looks like a little ghost to me. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, he's not gonna like that. Mm -mm. I sour. Way sour. Mm. Really, really. Sour, really sour. Like a sour, almost like a fruit punch flavor, though. Mm. Woo -hoo. I'm not sure I'm able to chew this thing. When they say super chewy, they mean it. Mm -hmm. Super chewy. I it's mean, got the texture of those. Have you ever had those licorice bites that are little squares? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like those. that's the texture. I'm gonna keep on chewing this and show you the next thing. Sorry for talking with my mouth on. Oat cookies. Anyone can pronounce that, right? Cocoa-filled oat cookies. Crispy cookies with a rich, chocolatey center. Okay. Now remember, this is just the Scandinavian box. This is not the holiday box. Mm -hmm. We'll actually be opening that next month. But one of you are going to win a holiday box. You might get it before we even get ours. That's true. Oh, look at this. Here, you can this have one. that. Sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, I want to share it. Look at that. Crispy, crunchy chocolate in the center. Oh, I don't think we're going to go wrong with this one. Mmm. I think Milano That's what I makes thought. a cookie like exactly. that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. what I thought, Milano. Mmm. But not as chocolatey. Winner. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Nothing is disappointing yet. Mmm. So good. Okay. These look so good. Um, okay, this interests me. It's called Brazil, even though it's from Scandinavia. And let's see. Milk and dark chocolate marshmallow bar. So I did read that Denmark is a huge producer of marshmallows. Something, would you say, like 800, 800 million? million marshmallows a year? Yeah. Here's what this looks like. Some kind of a, looks like a marshmallow candy bar, honestly. Mm. It smells like a cheap Easter candy. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like an like Easter egg. Mm -hmm. It's not though. There's like delicious Belgian chocolate or something like that. Mm. Scandinavian chocolate. <laughs> really, really good chocolate. Creamy good chocolate. That is good. Mm. So many good things. Oh, this I um I heard about. It's a vanilla frosting, icing? Sauce. Sauce. And they give you a recipe in this book to make some, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Danish, but it might not be Danish. This. Um, yeah, Danish coffee cake. And then this sauce in here goes on top of it. So we'll have to make that at a different time, maybe Saturday morning breakfast. Yeah, that'd be great. That could be fun. So we won't open this now. Sorry about the noise. It's just, we have the cutest little kitty cats, but they're always in our business. Okay. We'll go back to something salty. Kim's Snack Chips. Okay. Any description on that? Um, oh, tomato and spiced potato snack. Super crispy, cheesy, with an acidic tang. Acidic tang does not sound that good to me. But they're kind of puffy and curvy. Really crunchy. Kind of an herb taste to it. I kind of like it. Mm. I I don't mind it. I don't love the super crunch though. It's good flavor though. Mm -hmm. These are my people, so I can't say anything bad about anything. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Okay, we're moving right along. Choco bananas. It seems like every country has some kind of banana, some kind of banana or maybe not everybody, but it's a big popular thing. You know, now we're about halfway through this box or more. Let's tell people how they can win the Christmas box, the holiday box. We well, can win it by being engaged with this video. So the first step would be to like, and the second step would be to leave a comment. And we'd like a comment on your favorite Christmas treat or tradition or something that brings holiday memories to you. We just love to enjoy hearing your stories. I'll tell you a funny Christmas story about us, William. He, when we first met, it was sort of pathetic because he was living far away from home and his Christmas trees at his house were those like little Debbie Christmas trees and like those prepackaged like cosmic brownies, but like the Christmas ones. So it was really pathetic. But leave us a story or a comment down below, something like that, or just tell us your favorite um, holiday treat or tradition. And you'll be in the drawing for the holiday box. We're going to um, draw on... Black, Black Friday. Friday, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Friday. Black so Friday, about 10 days. so about 10 days, and um, ship it out right away the next day on Saturday, so you should have it early December, and for, um, you know, to have fun with all the holiday snacks, probably before we even get ours, so we would love to know how it is. We're not even going to open it and see what's in there, we have no idea, but we hope to surprise one of you guys, so comment below, give us a like, and... Uh, can't wait to see who wins. And just remember, we would need your address in order to ship it to you. And we'll also, only U.S. addresses, please. Yes, sorry. Okay, chocolate, chocolate banana marshmallows. Here you go. 
here's what they look like. It always happens. I like it in its own way, but it's always fakey banana taste. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's good. I love the fakey banana taste. <laughs> it's like a mild Laffy Taffy, you know, marshmallow form. Lying in a pillow. Mm. <laughs> it's real chewy. Yep, very good. This box is not disappointing. Okay, we're going to go with this Harbo. It is a cloudy lemon soda, the drink of Danish royalty. When do it's I Sarah. cloudy? The name Sarah means princess, so we'll let you drink it first. <laughs> well, it smells very lemony, and it is very fizzy. Um, yeah, mm, it's very lemony. More, not like a Sprite or 7-Up or anything. It's very lemony. It's not bad. Mm -mm. Needs it's a little a bit pleasant, of ice. Yeah, it's fine. Mm, yeah, pretty good. All right, we're getting down there. We're going to go with Karen Wolf bite-sized cookies with rum-flavored icing. Okay, I'm in. Oh, I'm in too. That sounds actually more like a like a holiday treat. But mm -hmm. A grown-up cookie. Yeah. If, it's, if I can find anything about it. Crumbly cookies with decadent rum flavor. If any of you have ever gotten a Universal Yums box too, let us know what you think of them. We really enjoy this. You can find them at universalyums.com. They have a yum box, a yum yum box, and a super yum box. And we always get the super yum, the, the large one. Not sponsored, but Not sponsored. we would be. <laughs> If our videos were more entertaining, maybe they would. <laughs> um, here's the little cookies. Nothing inside, I don't think. No, but you can smell the rum. Maybe. Maybe something inside. Kind of like almost like shortbread. Mm-hmm. That's good. Delicious. I love these. They're so good. Light and like flaky. Mm -hmm. Like a cookie crust. Really, really good. I'm yeah, going to put that away, so I'm not going to. Okay. I'm going to do like one more sweet thing, of... and then one more savory thing, and then we have, like, the little candies. Marze Marzetta? Hopefully it's marzipan of some mm, sort. No, it's raspberry-filled dark chocolate bar with Danish jammy filling for max indulgence. Wow. Max indulgence. Be prepared to be indulged maximum. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. This is why I usually have a scissors. Hey, you try that. You can see I can't find it even with my hand. Where is this? Here? Mm -hmm. We're kind of sitting in the dark tonight because we got our super cute turkey behind us. <laughs> and I wanted to light him up. Here's what it looks like. Ooh, jammy. Mmm. It's like the jellies in the like Whitman sampler or whatever. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or that long box or with Russell the Stover's raspberry thing. sticks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. That is a hit. That is delicious. It's the same even kind of chocolate. Uh-huh. They usually do like dark chocolate with raspberry. Yep. Okay. Our last savory crunch cut. Perlong and sour cream. Perlong? Which is chive. Chive and sour cream potato chips. Scandinavia's most iconic flavor. So we have sour cream and onion here, and they have chive and sour cream. I see. I don't know if Ridges is popular, or maybe it's something that just... Oh, these are not just Ridges. These are like um, uh, waffle almost. Mm-hmm. That is a very strong tasting chip, but it's mm -hmm. good. It's just mm -hmm. very flavorful. Very strong. Not like sour cream and onion either. I don't know if I would say like chive, but it must be. This must be what a chive taste yeah, chip I don't, tastes like. I can't really describe the flavor either. It got a little tang like a mm. sour cream and onion would have, but a real earthy, I said earthy a few times tonight, mm. but earthy yet again. Really good. Mm. 
Really, really good. I think they would make your breath horrible. Though. They probably would. Five and sour cream potato chips. So they always put all the little candies in this yum bag. Oh, wow. And there's a bunch of them. Okay. <laughs> Start with this little thing. Is this that... is a chocolatey cookie dough ball. Well, no, that's what this is. This is a chocolate cookie dough ball. They actually look exactly the same. Maybe there's just... Here, you have the red and I'll have the... They might just have different colored wrappers. Oh, sure. Because I don't see anything. It oh. just says, Swedish cookie dough filling, yum. On our Facebook page for this channel, Sarah put a poll asking if, are you a Christmas, let it begin kind of person or only after Thanksgiving? We'd love to hear what you think. What, what are you, mm -hmm. honey? Wait till after Thanksgiving. Yeah, it was really hard because I love the Christmas music and I just drove down the street and there's so many lights up and it's beautiful, but I'm trying to wait till <laughs> after Thanksgiving. This tastes like gingerbread. Does yours? I think they're... Yeah, a little bit. Oh, it does. Oh, no, you know why? Because I have a different one. What color wrapper was mine? Mine was red. Mine was the cookie dough. And his was the brown buttered truffle. That would make sense. It's good though. And mine was cookie dough. Um, but it really did taste like gingerbread. Hmm. Okay, we'll switch. You take them brown, you tell me what, or blue, and you tell me what you think, and I'll take the red. So this is brown butter truffle. And this is cookie dough? Mm hmm Need to clear my palate a little. Mm. To me, the brown butter one is just like a sweet truffle. Okay. That does have like a ginger. I want some too. Let's stay on with it because here is, these are gingerbread toffees. Right now, I feel like Ron Weasley when he was first on the train and Harry bought the whole snack car. <laughs> I'll take the I'm lot. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling right now. This one is really good to pull out some teeth. Here, I'll take half of that. Okay. I'll take half of it. I'm not getting a lot of gingerbread. Caramely. I don't really want to rush that cookie truffle. I good. know. That cookie truffle was good. I see. This is a little bit gingerbready. Okay. Oh. 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 Why did we say this for last? I did not mean to say this for last. I forgot. What is it? Salty licorice caramel. Oh. I saw this one before we started too. And I was like in the booklet. And... Don't be a disgrace to you people. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Maybe it's red licorice. <laughs> I saw that other thing in my mouth. Okay, here we go. That is mm. quite salty, but it's not bad. It is exactly salty black licorice kernel. Exactly. <laughs> I don't find it off-putting though at all. They call it Finnish Black Gold. Honestly, after all this sweet stuff, it's kind of good to have something salty. So Black is that the end of the box? My favorite. I think that's the end of the box. And then they gave us a little game again. A little game. They say they're going to stop doing that coming up soon though. They want to put more treats in. So that might be a welcome change for some. Okay, we're going to do our favorites and our least favorites. But don't forget, if you want to be in on the drawing for the Holiday Universal Yums Super Yum Box, which we have right here, we'll ship it right to you. On The drawing will be on Good or Black Friday. Black Friday, week from Friday. Comment below, give us a like, tell us something about your holiday tradition, whatever. Just comment below and um, we hope you win. We're yeah. excited to see who's going to win. Looking forward to it. Okay. Let us know when you get it. We'd love to know what you think. I think 
these dill chips were probably my favorite. That like just punch of dill in your mouth. These were so, so good. Oh, we're doing savory? Mm, do savory. Mm -hmm. I kind of, I did kind of like those um, chai chips. They had an interesting mm, the strong taste. Ones? Okay. Yeah. And then I will be, it'll be so hard to say the favorite sweet because I love the rum cookies, but I also loved this one that was like the um, Milano. Oh. Um, you like the it's jelly, a tie. the jelly candy bar? The jelly candy, that was, I'm sorry. Can't give a favorite this time. Just I'm gonna go with that um, cookie uh, truffle, <clears throat> that chocolate ball. Oh, you like that? Yeah, that's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I really good. like mm -hmm. that. And then, um, do you have a least favorite? Not really. I really liked everything in this box. Um, this was probably my least favorite just because they were really, really crunchy. They were good, but they were just really, really crunchy. The sour skulls. I don't oh, really the sour pepper skulls. sour. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that would be my least favorite. But anyway, this was super fun. Glad to have some snacks with my people. And uh, we hope that we'll see you guys here again in yeah, well, early December when we open our own holiday box. <laughs> <laughs> we're really glad that you joined us. If you're interested in these, look, look them up at universalyums.com. Or comment below and try to win one, and we'd be glad to ship it to you. Thanks for joining Thanks for us. Watching, Have a everybody. great day.